Hello and welcome back to Phineas Vilmar. As part of Here's My Magic 3, The Shadow of Death. And we don't really have much to fear from all our enemies. For there is only green left. They do have red dragons though, but... Uh, Concentrated in here. However, I might just be able to deal with them. Uh, right. What was I doing? Obviously, with Sandro, I just wanted to collect all the power-ups that I can. However, I think I have collected all of the power-ups that I have access to at the moment, for Sandro at least. Um, why is there magical grounds inside these mountains? That doesn't make much sense. But anyway, the remaining power-ups must be up here somewhere. They could also be down here somewhere. So now it's a matter of exploring, so I need to try and explore as much as possible. And ideally give Phineas a way to fight enemies. So there's some troops going on here to resupply. However, Lord Alaris could also give a nice amount of troops to Phineas, just that it would mess with morale. Uh, is this good enough to fight enemies? I feel like it probably is. But I have to be really careful about that. So, has Phineas visited everything? No, not the arena. And not the Library of Enlightenment. Now he has level 11, though. And I definitely don't want to give Phineas anything that is too slow. So, currently, 6 is the slowest speed. So I can give anything that has six or above. So I could give all the power liches. Hmm. And all the wraiths for that matter. The Minotaur Kings will have good morale anyway. Everything else, though. If I do this, then morale goes minus one. But minus one isn't that bad, all things considered. Then I can do this. And now Phineas is unstoppable. Meanwhile, these Necromancer items should be Lord Elorus's, whereas the speed should go to Phineas. Alright. So now you need to go and upgrade all the skeletons. So while you're here, also get the crystal. Phineas first needs to visit all these power ups. Well, that's interesting. There's sulfur. 
Also, there didn't really are shows, but there's also a gate. It leads me right here, huh? Oh, and there's a university. Not quite useful for Sandro, but for Phineas, that would be quite useful. Don't do silly things like that. I could also try and attack Saurug with what I will have here. really need experience for anyone else but my two primary heroes. I don't know, Phineas got this. No, Phineas did not get that either. Wow. Well then, given the choice, I will... Oh. Oh! Well then. Something like that. That might be enough to get me... up level, which would be really nice. And this hero isn't even that good. That's decent attack, but... Not much in terms of magic, either. Okay, you do that. Oh man, three vampire lords, whatever shall I do? That's a bit rude, though. Ballista shouldn't be doing that much damage. Hmm. Well, alright, in that case, Bloodlust. Ow. Ah, well, first, unfortunate. It's not too late to attack the mant horse and hopefully age them. Yes, excellent. Well, before it's too late, I think I should reanimate my dread knight.
Okay, now the Minotaur Kings are the biggest threat. Probably should have used one of my dragons to try and age them as well, but it is what it is. Nice. Got something. I forgot to make a slot for for the witches. So this did not give me anything. Whoops. Not that I really need like the 90 liches that I would get out of this. But still, that's kind of Hey, more spell power. Did I get this? So it was just explore around. And you need to get back. Skeletons, 255. And it's day 7, so let's boost a bit. Ah, uh, hi there! Saurug, how's it going? And two liches out of that. Not upgraded ones, and they are slowing me down. Whoa. So I'm not a big fan of that, but hey. Ooh, I was like dragons. And there's one power up here, another power up there, another one up there, and their town must be here somewhere. So there's another portal, I wonder where that leads. Maybe somewhere else on underground. see to trade with Sandro to upgrade those liches. More defense. Okay, so indeed the only things left are all these power-ups. Hmm. 
15 Pegasi or 8 Vampire Lords. Pegasi are nice, but Vampire Lords can be merged with other Vampire Lords. Lord Elorus can go help explore a bit. For that matter, I can finish exploring this area. Aha! Uh -huh. There's some other guy. I am missing. <laughs> Uh, 900 experience. Is there a mirror I can look at? Hmm. Not that I can see. Maybe Lord Elrus can find one. magic well in any case. Yeah. Some things to pick up here. That's an interesting place to go. But that's uh, not exactly protecting you from Sandro now, is it? Oh, and another power up place. So, what's in this university? Defense is pretty good. I'll take it. Tactics... Not bad, but not something that would be immediately useful. Logistics or pathfinding would be much more useful. Sorcery. What sorcery is this? Not one that I'm all that interested in. Eh. And there's a swarm of bell dwarves. Technically, I think I have the advantage here. Also, all sevens and all stats. Interesting choice. Ooh, six black dragons. How are they not going first? 
Yeah, that will hurt my Vampire Lords, I know that for a fact. Wow, rude. Wow, even ruder. <laughs> but I still don't want to animate because I don't know how much I will lose to Blood Dragons. Surprising a little. <laughs> really, two black dragons with just the vampires? Okay. And that's dragons. Don't run away. But hey, expert air magic. And 22 liches. Nice. more power-ups. Meanwhile, C is here to take the Liches to upgrade. And also check out what's in this Witch's hut. Now this will be interesting. Don't really know if I can win this fight. Oh! Is this a dead end? That might be a dead end. It is a dead end. Also, they're really not confident. I have mass curse. It's not all that uh, more useful than any of the other spells that affect the enemy, but don't have anything that helps me, so that's still better. Oh, it worked. Amazing. And I don't really have much firepower either. And my troops that can deal a good amount of damage are rather slow. So much that the dwarves are faster. Okay. So I can do this. Surprising. Excellent. Fourteen bell wars. If I could age these guys, that would be pretty useful. But I have my doubts. Attempt number two, question mark? Should I? Yeah, it's because otherwise they will be able to attack someone in any case. Yeah, that was pretty obvious. Nope. No age. No 
blindness either. Why not? <laughs> this, however, is a bit more uh, dangerous, so how about a shield? Wait. I can't pass... Oh, I can pass through here. You. 41 damage. Yikes. who is not quite undead yet. Hmm. Hanging gone by a thread. <laughs> Logistics, nice. And all those skeleton warriors out of that. Which in turn shows us that this is completely disconnected from everything else. Dragons no longer make sense with Sandro. Fighting altogether no longer makes sense with Sandro. Exploration, on the other hand, is still quite useful. so I can buy all the dragons. Unicorns, Pegasi. Who else is fast enough? 16, 9... 7 and 8 are fine too. Yeah, 7 indeed. Alright, back we go. And this has mysticism. Not quite useful enough. Let's go. Dragons, excellent. Huh. Let's 
it's a whole underground complex. Interesting. Potentially with a lot of dead ends. There's a tavern underground. Why not? I think Lord Elorus should just hang around here or something. Oh man, Gorgon's guarding a magic well. Something that uh, Phineas should deal with. Not Sandro, not anymore. Well, I can explore a bit. Is this even a pathway that I can take? Oh wait, I can see a hero. That's oh, that's town. A town with very few troops in it. Oh man, scuttle boat and someone does. Oh, but they do have black dragons. Yep, there's nothing of interest down here. Well, I guess that will be all for now, and next time we will finish the scenario, I'm pretty sure. So, see you all then. Later.